So mic check. Mic check. Mic check. Mic check. We are here today. We are here today because brother Jesse. Because brother Jesse has been wrongfully indicted. Has been wrongfully indicted. We are here today. We are here today to defend. To defend brother Jesse's character. Brother Jesse's character. We are here today. We are here today to protect. Victims' rights. Victims' rights. One more time. We are here today. We are here today to protect. To protect. Victims' rights. Victims' rights. We are here today. We are here today to support. To support. Black people. Black people. We are here today. We are here today to support. To support. LGBTQ people. LGBTQ people. We are here today. We are here today to support. To support. Women's rights. Women's rights. We are here today. We are here today to support. To support. Jesse Smollett. Jesse Smollett. Justice for Jesse. Justice for Jesse. What? We'll be with a spin, this 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 is a little bit I, I don't really want to somewhat attack people who support things but in this instance I have a right to and I'm going to get to why I have a right to in a moment but let's refresh some minds this guy, Jesse Smollett, faked a hate crime, faked a hate crime, got exposed. It was found out he couldn't get the shit on video because he, fa he did it while the camera was facing the other way. Two dudes are caught on camera buying supplies. He's indicted. 16 counts. Could face 64 years. Hmm, what else? What else could make this man seem like a fucking liar? Hmm. The brothers, this is number six, have apologized for being a part of this fake hate crime. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's about it. I get that people want to defend these, oh, black men, oh, they're so unjust, oh, this is, this is brutality this is this is heinous this is anus this no these black men shouldn't have to go through this they should be free they shouldn't have to be wrongly charged with these counts but there's a lot of evidence against Smollett and it's looking more and more like this motherfucker lied with each new piece of evidence that comes out there, there there's some boxer uh, I don't have his name. I think his name is Adele or Abel. It's like a video of him in a fight. And like the title of it, he really could have messed up Jesse Smollett. It's because somehow, some way, his name got tied to this. Don't know how. Don't know when. Just They have tied this man's name to this. I don't know if Jesse finally said, <gasps> It's getting too much. It's getting to be too much. It's getting to be too much. I have a name, Abel or Adele. I don't have his name. I don't have his name. But so he he's name dropping new people. And my thing is this video that I showed in the beginning of those black people in front of, I think it was the courthouse. It's just so fucking pathetic. Like, you, you idiots are so disrespectful. You say you're you you're out there to defend smuggle nuts, which I believe. Go be stupid and do that. But here's my problem. You say you're out there to defend black people, LGBTQ people, and women's rights. You are hands down disrespecting black people, LGBTQ people, and women's rights. Let me tell you why. I'm going to tell you step by step. I'm going to start with black people. Black people, <laughs> if you don't know this about us black people, we seem to always get shot by a white officer. We seem to always get wrongfully charged with something which we had no business being charged of. Here's the difference between... Black people who really get accused and who really get shot and who really get fucking blamed and framed by white men and Jesse Smollett. 
there's evidence to prove one side and there's evidence to prove another. And in that case, there's always been evidence that proves a black man was wronged in some way. And as shitty as this may sound, the white dudes still might get away with it. And that's just a fact. Look up any big fucking travesty that goes down and eight times out of ten, the white dude still walks out free. Especially if he's a cop. In Smollett's case, there is no shred of evidence that helps him. Not a one. The one thing he got to take a sigh of relief on is when it came out that the check that everybody thought was meant for the attack to be paid off with, that was for a gym membership. That's the one thing, the one thing that gives him a sigh of relief. Everything else, the fact that his story changed like four different times, the fact that he called himself Gay Tupac, which really he should go to jail for that. The two brothers coming out saying that they're sorry they took part in this. Like, how can you defend that when the evidence proves it's not wise to be defending smuggle nuts? Next, um, women's rights. Oh, why? Why are my ladies involved in this? They have nothing to do with it. This is this is all men. This is this is dudes. But I think I think why they say they're defending women's rights is because women they get attacked because they're sexy and men want to have sex with them and then women say no and then they get raped and beaten because they said no here's the thing and it ties into the last one there's evidence to help the woman there's evidence to prove dna cameras stories alleged accounts where it's proven that they were raped. It's proven that they were beaten. Again, in Jesse's case, there is no evidence that helps him except for the check. I, I've, I've been on this fucking story for almost two fucking months. And not a one time did I see anything that helped him in this fucking predicament at all. Now, I get, ever since I started doing these, I've been getting a lot of shit from Jesse Smollett supporters or just people who want me to shut the fuck up. And here's the thing. For both sides, fuck you. I'm going to make videos on whatever my mind is most fixated on. One comment I saw that I immediately deleted because it made no sense because I stated this comment in like my first or second video on this. The comment was something along the lines of, I shouldn't even be talking about this because I'm not a member of the LGBTQ community. And I, and I read it and I was just like, huh? No, I'm the B in LGBTQ. Because I've said it before, I've openly said it on here. I'm bisexual. I want women. I want men. Now, when push comes to shove, I would much rather have a wife than to be a wife. But, hey, I enjoy pussy. I enjoy boobs. I also enjoy dick. Problem? No, because I don't care what y'all think. So I have staked in this claim. I can talk about this so nobody should really be saying anything to me in regards to, uh, you, you don't know what you're talking about. Yes, I do. Because I know what it's like to actually be given shit for type of people I'm interested in, sexuality, all that. This shit's not, this shit's not hard to figure out. This idiot, this fucking moron, Smollett, is fucking over, not just himself, He's embarrassed his co-workers, politicians, people who support him who have now switched to my side. And he's just made a fool of himself. That motherfucker Terrence Howard stands by him and he's going to stay by him until it comes out that he's guilty. And I will say it right now. Jesse Smollett needs to be found guilty. Whether if he faces the 64 years or not, he needs to go to jail. 
Because just like how uh, women who lie about rape, they should go to jail, he should go to jail too. Because that's some serious shit. You got people arrested for it. I see now that you're pinning it on a boxer. You just won't stop until you finally crack and you just say, Fuck it, I did it, I faked it. And I and I support and I strongly agree with the judge that told that motherfucker make sure he's there for all those court appearances. He better fucking make sure he's there. Cause if he won't keep that old wholesome image, everybody stay positive. He's gonna have to show the fuck up. But to these defenders, these these blind supporters, you're ignoring evidence. You're ignoring looking this shit up and actually coming up to your own conclusion. What you see is black guy says he told the truth. He's being wrongfully this, wrongfully that. And y'all just go for it. Y'all rush to judgment and now you're so far in that you can't back out. There were people who rushed to judgment that said, hey, I believed him at first, but now, uh, but some of you morons are still, y'all, y'all too scared to accept the fact that y'all wrong. And this rush to judgment that y'all had, now y'all recorded saying that y'all supporting these three things, y'all not. This makes y'all look so stupid. And the fact that y'all stand there, stand together, band together, and join in on this lie, y'all don't give a fuck about black people. You don't give a fuck about women's rights. You damn sure don't give a fuck about LGBTQ. All you give a fuck about is this one dude, because I'm pretty sure all of them in that video watch Empire, and how the police did him wrong. The police, uh, they, they, they won't listen to him. Motherfucker. I'm not listening to people. I'm listening to the cameras. And the cameras ain't got nothing. So, on that note, I'm done here. The the people that rush to judgment, hopefully y'all see the light. And y'all don't just cower behind it and still say, We support Jesse. Hopefully y'all smarten up. But I don't see it happening. Yep. Also... I forgot who I forgot who else y'all disrespecting. Y'all disrespecting Chicago because a lot of y'all, not not in my comment section, but there are a lot of people dragging the fuck out of Chicago, a democratic city. I almost said state, but that's a that's Democratville right there. That's Democrat country. That's not MAGA country. So for y'all to just disrespect Chicago. Fuck y'all. We Chicago strong around here, baby. This Chicago... I'm not even from Chicago. But I'm Chicago strong. Because Chicago is one of my favorite cities. And to see people disrespect black people, LGBTQ, women, women's rights in Chicago, that, that hits me in the fucking heart. Because y'all so far in, y'all just don't want to accept the fact that y'all could be wrong. And that's where I'm ending this video. Like the video. Share the video. Comment if you agree with me in this rush to judgment and how it makes no sense. And Jesse, I said it on Twitter. I think I said it on here. I've said it in public. I'll say it again. This is what you fucking started. And I hope you're ready to face the end. Good night. Have a pleasant tomorrow. Fuck you, Jesse. I'm going to go make a sandwich.